What's up, everybody? It's your man, KJ the Great, dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get into this. All right, y'all. So, the co main event to the biggest fight in the sport of boxing today is. As I told you guys in a video previously, is Isak Cruz versus Giovanni Cabrera. Now, Isak Cruz is 24 wins, two losses, one draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. Giovanni Cabrera is 21 wins, no losses, no draws. I believe uh, 14 wins by way of knockout. I might have to look look that up, um, but he's got some knockouts on. But yeah, in my last video, you know, I kind of gave a premature, you know, who I thought was going to win uh, based on namesake and, you know, what I've seen so far. But that was some months ago. And here we are today, about a week out from that fight. And I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to go against the grain and I'm going to give you guys my reasons why. So with Esau Cruz, since he fought Tank Davis on that night, he looked really, really good. He was pressuring Tank, um, although I believe Tank either fractured his hand or something, whatever the case may be. He couldn't get Pitbull out of there. And that's perfectly fine um, for for Pitbull, it 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 um, sent his following, and he his, he gained a, a new following, and he went up into star status, and he's definitely one of the guys at the lightweight division. Um, he's not what I would say one of the elite guys, but he's definitely a really really good quality fighter in that division. Um, he went on. He got a, he secured a big time knockout over uh, Yuri Yokas Gamboa. I believe that was a fifth round knockout. And you can see him. He was pressuring, coming forward, hooks, hooks, you know, staying on him, doing what, you know, the pit bull does. And he uh, secured the knockout in that fight. Now, let's talk Giovanni Cabrera. Gio, as they call him. I like this guy, man. Um, after I've done a lot more research on them and and watching film on them and stuff and i like the kid you know uh he's trained by freddie roach um the only problem that i do have that i noticed in a lot of the fights that i watched with giovanni is that he doesn't move his head off center and i'm not it, it, that with that 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 tends to be a real bad thing when you got somebody who is a strong jabber and they can jab their way in. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, Isak Cruz is that he's not the best jabber. He doesn't um, do a lot of that to get his way in. It's not like a very uh, educated or I would say strategic jab that Isak Cruz has. Um, but nonetheless, he still gets caught with his head off center. Sometimes when he throws his straights, He'll lunge in first and his hands will go down. And uh, that was the reason or cause for my initial um, report on this fight. So, but, you know, I looked at the odds and everything um, in Giovanni's last fight with Gabe Flores. I mean, he came out within seven seconds, I believe it was. Knocked the guy down just Boom, bam, knocked the guy down. And I mean, he put a hurting on him. It's not, you know, Gabe Flores, he's not really strong for the lightweight division or anything, but uh, it was a really good performance from, uh, excuse me, Cabrera. So I did say initially I'm going to go against the grain, and yes, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pick Giovanni Cabrera to keep his undefeated streak alive and win a close decision in this fight. I personally don't think he can knock out Cruz. I don't believe he can stop Cruz. But ultimately, I believe um, with his explosiveness, 
the way Cruz comes in, he can take advantage of a lot of things um, that Cruz does. Um, not necessarily wrong things, but, you know, coming in with somebody who has a good amount of length on him and such. I believe he, he should, and where he's at right now, be able to take advantage of that. So I'm going to predict, as they say it, an upset and the cold main event for Spence versus Crawford, that being Isak Cruz versus Giovanni Cabrera, I'm going to take Cabrera to win that fight in a close decision, split decision, or majority decision. Yes, I'm saying it, majority decision, because I don't think um, I don't think Cruz is going to knock this guy out. Uh, I don't think he's going to stop him um, anymore. Yeah, I don't think he'll stop him this time. Um, but do not be surprised if Cruz win this fight. And I want to say that again because of the way Cabrera keeps himself on center and doesn't move his head off center sometimes with his hands down coming in and he gets tagged up a few times. Nothing he can't learn from, uh, you know, nothing that he can't, that can't be improved upon. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> nothing that can't be approved upon um it's just when he's working with somebody like freddie roach i don't know who's in freddie roach's camp right now but i'm sure he's got some guys in there helping this guy learn um the ins and outs the flaws that he has and how to uh not just correct them but improve upon the things that the other fighter has as flaws so yeah i'm gonna take him and I know some of y'all are going to be mad. I know some of y'all are going to call me crazy. But guess what? This is boxing, baby. And we are, uh, yeah, I said it. We are a week, about a week, a little over a week out from this fight. And expect some sparks to fly on this card. So, yes, that's what's going down. That's who I'm picking. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJTheGreat09. I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys. Oh, and uh, my last live video, uh, you know, we got up to 20 likes. We got over 600 uh, views. Uh, I can't even count the amount of shares. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to tune in um, throughout these next two weeks. I will not be doing a live video this upcoming week as I will be attending the George Cambosis versus Maxi Hughes fight in uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma. So make sure you guys tune in on ESPN. ESPN. You'll see your boy there ringside. Thank you guys again. Peace.